bright duty every student matters then next we have perception now it is very important to understand that every stimuli around us it gives us it stimulates our sense of a sense organs and we receive certain information from that but it is very important for us to perceive and that is where the role of spinal cord and brain comes in right although you will get the sensation you will have to understand and that is how perception is playing important role right so every different stimuli around us will be stimulating our sense organs many of these stimuli are received by our sense uh, by our sense and they are uh, given to the brain to understand and that's how perception uh, comes in play in turn brain will interpret these sensations it is only after such interpretations that we understand what the stimulus is until and unless your brain is working you will not be able to understand what you are seeing right if your brain doesn't have information so whatever you are seeing you will not be able to recognize that you will not be able to understand if your brain doesn't have information on the sound you will not be able to understand that what is that sound right if suppose a stranger talks to you you are not able to recognize that stranger's voice because your brain has never heard it and doesn't have the knowledge right so here uh, in perception brain plays a very important role this process of interpretation of stimulus is known as perception so perception involves two processes sensation and interpretation so first you get the sensation from the sense organs and then the brain interprets it but interpretation of any stimulus requires past experience also right like i said if a person doesn't know if the brain doesn't have the knowledge perception is not possible perception may be defined as a process of interpretation of a present stimulus on the basis of past experience right obviously that's how you interpret but if your brain doesn't have the knowledge it will not be able to perceive it will not be able to interpret and that's why that sensation will go to waste because you do not know that right next you have the principle of perceptual organizations there are numerous a uh, scientist who worked on this and given certain theories first of all you have the uh, you have william james an american psychologist and he has said if we understand the world as it appears to us it will be a big booming buzzing confusion right if we are able to understand exactly what is happening around the world we will not be able to understand anything at all that's what he says because over here the role of perception comes right so whatever we are able to understand whatever we are able to see we need to understand them whatever we are able to hear we need to understand that in a proper manner according to our perception if we do not have that we will not be able to understand anything hence we do not see the things as they appear but we see them as we want that is more meaningfully so we are able to understand in uh, the things in a better way because of the knowledge that we know because of the perception which happens with the help of the brain right then there is another psychologist that is gestalt and he says that our brain takes the information as a whole and then later on divides and keeps the information uh, for us to understand right for example when we are eating something as a whole we take the experience we see it we taste it and then later on we perceive that okay what was there in that dish but whole, the whole which comes together that is the best way right so that's uh, what we are trying to say is that the brain plays a very important role in the sensation perception and interpretation of anything which goes around us now let's talk about the different factors that affect perception there are individual differences in perceptual abilities two people may perceive the same stimulus differently right so because what they have learned from their past experiences two people can see the same thing in different ways they the set of morality that they have the set of uh, you know characteristics that they have depending on that same stimulus can give different res results so let's see what are the different uh, factors first of all we have the perceptual learning right based on past experience and special training now for example if we look 
at a painting right and what we are looking at a painting is okay how beautiful the color is what is the design we are able to see that as a layman we do not know we are able to perceive it only as a beautiful painting but the person who is skilled say there is a skilled artist he or she will be able to see the brush strokes he or she will be able to see the meshing of the colors so he his perception of the same painting and our perception of the same painting differs because of his past experience and the special training that he has so this is one of the factors that is the perceptual learning which affects the perception of different people then you have the mental set the mental set mean, uh, uh, means that preparedness preparedness to receive sensory input that means a person should have at attention should have proper attention and should be concentrating on something for example this is a very simple uh, thing when you are on a station right and when you uh, are on a station waiting for a train so there is an announcement going on so you try and listen to that particular announcement which is pertaining to your train and then when they say that okay the train is coming on platform 2 you tend to look towards the uh, direction from which the train is coming so that focuses all your attention towards the train so this is what we say the mental state you are mentally prepared to perceive that information which is being given to you through the loudspeaker which is being given to you uh, when the train is coming so through different cues which are happening around your environment because you are you know you have a proper you have proper attention you are prepared to get that information then motives and needs motive and needs means that what is motivating you let's say that uh, for example there is a game going on and you have a slip in which there is a lot of uh, stuff in a store room and in that everybody has to find something right for example you get the list and you are told to find the things which are used for cooking so what you are going to do is immediately as soon as you go into that store room which is filled with substances you have the perception where you are going to look for a specific let's say spatula or a frying pan or a or a wok that is what you are going to do you will be able to perceive these things better than the person who say is uh, you know uh, going for the things used for painting right so that person will look for the things uh, which are used for painting and you will look for the things which are used for cooking and your perception will be better towards these specific things right so this is your motive your motive is to find the things which will help you in cooking right and that's how perception is varying from the person who is looking for a painting set and a person who is looking for a cooking set right then next you have the cognitive styles obviously every person has a different way of seeing things depending on how he or she thinks this cognitive style actually depends on your learning depends on your uh, you know how uh, you are able to process the information certain people are able to process the information in a better way or they have a different set of rules through which they process information so obviously cognitive styles also help you in perceiving something uh, in a different way than the other so these are the four factors which are affecting perception now let's look at some of the errors in perception obviously it is not always possible to perceive a st uh, stimuli as it is there sometimes we mistake them we, we mistake the stimulus and perceive it wrongly it may be due to some defect in our sense organs or defective functioning of the brain many times the prejudices in the individual time and such other factors are responsible for errors in perception so there can be various reasons why there can be errors for perceiving something right so what are the types of uh, errors which we are see, which we usually see first we have illusion right so illusion is basically a false perception things which are not there or which are there but we do not see them as is for example uh, the person will make mistake a stimulus and perceive it wrongly for example when you see a rope in dark you might perceive it as snake this is what we call as illusion so uh, take uh, looking at something and perceiving it in a wrong way is what we call as illusion the second type of error is hallucination sometimes we come across instances where the individual perceives some stimulus even when it is not present 
this phenomena is known as hallucination this is something which happens uh, usually the illusion is also auditory and optical and so is hallucination hallucination where they, nothing is there a person is able to hear voices but nobody is speaking right so this is what we call as hallucination in illusion there, it is a wrong perceivement but in hallucination there is nothing there but still you are able to perceive it this is how different both of these are other types of errors which occur in the perception are other types of error which occur in the uh, perception are anesthesia that is no sensation right then you have hyperthesia hyperthesia that means excessive sensation then you have parathesia that is distorted sensation and then you have uh, different types of tactile uh, anesthesia that means where the skin you are feeling sensation which is not there uh, the touch sensation of touch right let's look at the differences between sensation and perception sensation is normal initial mental process whereas perception is a complex and refined mental activity it begins with stimulus it begins with some object fringe of meaning it is based on external stimuli and conditions it is associated with internal mental conditions there is passivity in sense uh, sensation whereas the act, there is activity in perception the basis of sensation is mental analysis the process of perception is linked with actual life experiences Le now let's look at the role of sensation perception and conception in cognitive development cognitive is thinking ability sensation is a process by which our senses gather information and send it to the brain obviously we need to gather the information and send it to the brain but gathering information is not enough obviously we need to perceive it so perception refers to the interpretation of what we take in through our senses the way we perceive our environment is what makes us different from other animals and different from each other also so what we are able to see we are going to perceive it in a different way than a different person or even from a animal point so point of view right so sensation in in itself is not complete sensation will give us what is happening around us but perception will help us to create meaning right it will cut down all the excessive information to the basic fundamentals which we need so that is the reason why it is very important for sensation and perception to go hand in hand concepts are mental categories used to group objects events information etc in short a concept is generalization on that helps to organize information into categories for example if we talk about weather it is very hot it is very cold it is raining so all of this can be categorized into the category of weather our brain has this ability to create a concept right then if we talk about say biology so in biology we know we are talking about the human beings living beings plants animals all of these things so we are creating or we are grouping it so sensation perception and conceptualization of something helps us in creating a complete picture of what is going on around us so all of these things go hand in hand up till now we have talked about sensation and perception